What did you build? I'm, I'm in the process of building a staircase. Staircase to what? Just a staircase? Yeah. Cool, and you got some Legos to play with? Yep. Well, what are you thinking of the Legoland Hotel so far? Awesome, 100% recommend. Hi everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you around the Legoland Castle Hotel that is just steps from the entrance to Legoland, California. I'll show you around the resort, give you a tour of our suite, and also show you what's included with the free breakfast buffet. If you're thinking about booking a Legoland vacation, my travel partner Getaway Today is always offering discounted tickets and vacation packages. To check out deals, give them a call at 855-GETAWAY and make sure to tell them that Mommy Mouse Clubhouse sent you and they'll take great care of you. So hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos and let's get started. A day or two before you arrive at the hotel, you should receive an email with check-in instructions. You will be given a code that will get you into the Legoland parking lot. You can pay the $27 per night fee for parking ahead of time when you book, but I had read reviews that some who did that were charged for parking twice, so I chose to have it automatically charged at the end of my stay along with the $30 nightly resort fee. The lobby is adorable and is over the top with the Lego theme. There is even a Lego pit for kids to play with and build, which is great to keep them busy while you check in. There is also a really fun slide. When you check in, you will use this kiosk and enter the code that was emailed to you. The room keys will be printed here. There will be some employees there to help you with this process if any problems arise. The king has found his throne. Where it belongs. What is, like your, what is your first order of business? Uh, he should stay in jail forever. You gotta go back to jail? Oh, if you threaten to punch the king, you will Peasant. go to jail. Peasants? One of the perks of staying at the Legoland Castle Hotel is the fun extra activities available. Here you can see what was on the schedule for the day we arrived. We happened to run into a Lego princess just outside the gift shop when we were exploring the hotel. Are you waving to her? Hello, hello. Oh, hey, she did it too! Let's see our dance moves. Ooh, <laughs> There are a few different types of hotel rooms available at the Legoland Castle Hotel. They vary in price depending on size. We chose to splurge on this trip and book the Knights and Dragons Deluxe Suite. Let's take a tour. As you enter the room, you will be in the sitting area or living room with a couch and a chair. There is also a large smart TV hanging on the wall. This room had so many Lego accents that help immerse you in this experience. One thing to know is that you will need to have a card, like a room key or old gift card, in this slot by the front door in order for the lights to work. There is a safe that holds treasures that can be unlocked by completing a scavenger hunt to find out the combination. More on that later. The couch folds out into a queen-size bed and my 15-year-old said it was actually pretty comfortable. As you move past the sitting area, this is where you will find a coffee maker, a refrigerator, safe, garbage cans, and a container of Legos for kids to play with while in the room. We had water bottles and apple juice boxes that were included with our room and are replenished every day. 
There is also a small closet with a suitcase stand and extra pillows and blankets for the sleeper sofa. A juice. You got your own apple juice? Is that what it is? Mine. Your own apple juice. Carl Mom is very good some. if you're wondering. <laughs> Not Carl's bad. And Dylan got a juice. Yep. Awesome. Oh, there's even more. I didn't see that over there. More hot chocolate. This room has a set of twin bunk beds and also a trundle bed that pulls out and can sleep a third child. Each bed has fun little accents. There is also a smart TV in this room and a spot where you can build Legos on the wall. My kids loved that at night you could flip a switch that turns on a star constellation on the ceiling. This bedroom had a king size bed, two chairs, a small nightstand on each side of the bed, a dresser, and a third TV. A fun thing about this room is at night, this picture over the bed can light up. The bathroom has two sinks and a step stool for little ones. The cute Lego theming continues in here as well. The shower and toilet are in a separate room from the sinks, which is nice. The shower had a hair and body wash combo and conditioner, which we were not fans of. So luckily we had brought our own. The cool thing about the toilet is that there is a built-in training seat for little kids. The pool area was really large and super fun. One end of the pool is zero entry and has large Legos to play with. There are towels available for use at the pool and we were able to take them back to the room with us when necessary. There are a bunch of cabanas that are available for rent by the pool. The pool was heated, but my kids said that it was still pretty cold. Luckily, the hot tub was hot and was pretty spacious. There was a pool snack bar, but unfortunately it was closed during our stay. Right next to the pool is an outdoor cinema with couches and chairs that face the large screen. We saw the Lego movie playing there twice as well as other Lego videos. Also in the courtyard was a larger playground for older kids and a fenced off area for smaller children. The Royal Stage is located next to the playground and has grassy hills for the kids to sit on. We decided to have dinner at the Dragon's Den located inside the Castle Hotel. If you want to eat here, you will need a reservation, but we were able to get one the same day. 
Inside the restaurant, there is a Lego playing area similar to the one in the lobby that kids can use to stay entertained while you wait for your table. The dinner menu had a pretty good variety of entrees to choose from, and there seemed to be something for everyone. My husband and I had the blackened chicken sandwich with a side salad. My kids had the dragon burger, a kid's cheeseburger, and chicken strips. What did you order? Friends. Chicken tenders. The kids meal chicken tenders and a side of fries, right? Mm-hmm. Lucas Boo, what did you order? I got a kids meal cheeseburger with a side of fries. Okay. Derek, what did you get? House burger. A house burger and fries. And then dad and I got the blackened chicken sandwich and a Caesar side salad. The Castle Hotel has a small gift shop next to the Dragon's Den. There were plenty of Lego souvenirs as well as a few food and beverage items as well. Included with your stay at the Legoland Castle Hotel is a free breakfast buffet. You will need a reservation for this as well, so be sure to book early so that you can get the time you want. We made our reservation for 8 o'clock which gave us plenty of time to eat and be ready for the early entry into the park. The breakfast area is located inside the Dragon's Den restaurant. Here are some of the items available for the buffet. The great thing about staying at this hotel is the entrance to Legoland is literally right out the door. With a stay at either of the hotels, you are entitled to enter the park 30 to 60 minutes early which allowed us to ride Ninjago and Coast Cruise before the park even opened. You'll just have to show your room key to enter. Morning from Legoland, California. We are going to go spend the day with our kids. Where's the other kid? There he is. And we're gonna have a good time, right? Yep. So we got in an extra hour early. The park officially opens at 10. We got in at nine because we stayed at the Legoland Castle Hotel. So if you stay at one of the two hotels, you get in an hour early, or well, sometimes a half hour early. It depends on what time it closes. So check the schedule before you come, but it's a half hour to an hour early. Yep. We're gonna go ride. Ninjago. Ninjago the ride, right? Yep. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, each room has a safe inside that contains some kind of treasure. Kids are able to go all over the hotel looking for clues that will help them figure out the combination to the safe to retrieve the prizes inside. 
Greetings, my friends. We are going to find out what is in the safe of the lockbox inside of the Legoland Hotel room, or the Legoland Castle Hotel. Let me just get the QR code right here. The treasure hunt. Hidden hotel answers with the clues that will unlock the treasure chest in your room. Welcome to the Legoland Castle Hotel. How many, how many? Okay, so we have to go answer that as we go. Yeah. Through the hotel, so let's start. Okay, where are we? We're in the main lobby right now. And what are we looking for? The queen standing in the room. Is that the queen? Okay. Okay, what's the next question? How many local vintages are outside on the Dragon's Den restaurant and where? outside looking for it but it was not there so she said it was by the restaurant which is up here I'm assuming it's to the left how many purple Lego bricks are there on the magic wizard calendar in the grand hall so we gotta go back downstairs the whole point of it is to have fun that's what we're doing right now yep How many jesters? How many jesters are in a in box the, in the, the Dragon's Den patio? So back upstairs we go. Oh. There might be people. Merlin is guiding us three. Oh, two, two, two. Two. Right. <laughs> well, we're going there first, though. So. Luckily. All right, we're gonna watch Merlin. So we're back in the room, about to enter the code. Here we are. You got the code. You got the code. We got the code. <gasps> what What's it? in there? <gasps> I hope you enjoyed this video tour of Legoland Castle Hotel. We absolutely loved our experience there, including the over-the-top theming, spacious room, free breakfast and proximity to the park. Some things we didn't like were the parking fee, the resort fee, and the shampoo and conditioner, and that's about it. If you want to splurge on your next Legoland vacation, I do recommend this hotel and will probably stay here again in the future. Remember to check prices for this hotel and discount Legoland tickets from Getaway Today linked in the description, or give them a call at 855-GETAWAY and let them know Mommy Mouse Clubhouse sent you. See you next time!